Hi, it's <coughs> Zenthi here. Um, I've written a few notes here just to try and keep my brain on track. Um, just wanted to carry on a little bit more about the topic yesterday I was talking about. Um, there's a lot of um, advocates online, whether it's mental health, uh, autism, whatever, they uh, try to act like they're experts. It's all opinions and they can have clickbaity t uh, titles like five ways to tell that you're autistic, blah blah blah. It's identity politics and it's recruiting numbers. Uh, I have this weird uh, special interest, you could call it, in ideology. That's why I watch what's going on. Um, um, someone, um, it was very obviously about me, um, said I was stealing their joy by commenting on their videos. They said it elsewhere. Um, so I'm the Christmas Grinch. Anyway, um, I am, I have a science background and I like um, evidence-based things and I get really annoyed when uh, people misrepresent shit. Uh, this identity thing has gotten a bit out of hand. It's ripping off medical diagnoses and making them into identity with these people who have such mild traits, they, uh, one of these people accused me of being a troll, <coughs> arguably was trolling themselves, <coughs> said that they're neurotypical passing. I would have that privilege. I mean, they like the word privilege, so I'm just string that in there. Um, okay, so let's have a look at some of the stuff on my list. Just remember it's all opinions. The one that, well, there's two that people go after. I don't know why. It's autism, and then the number two is ADHD, and then they like to say they're all, all DHD is A-U-D-H-D-E-R. Okay, so it is an opt-in thing. It is, they compare it to being like gay or whatever. Okay, so, um, it, you know, all the whatever, LGBTQ2, whatever, a something or other, whatever it is now, it's become such a big add-on thing that it ends up clashing with itself. It's kind of like what it is, this whole neurodiversity movement. It, um, it's just one big soup to try and get the numbers up, I believe. That's the way I observe it. Um, and everyone, of course they're not going to agree with each other about every single freaking thing. Uh, I mentioned this to my psychologist and she said, oh, it would be like taking a diagnosis such as gout and having the gout community and expecting everyone to have exactly the same opinion about everything. I mean, that's how stu stupid it is, really. Just, oh, I'll, go, I'll get told off now because it's able to say stupid. Anyway, you get told all the ist words and the phobic words and the, the extremes. It reminds me of the extremist religion that I was raised in. And I think that's why I'm interested in ideology because it's the same pattern. Anyway, so... Anyway, the latest is some of these advocates of uh, large platforms, one in particular I've been watching, commenting on, has millions of views on YouTube and a few hundred thousand followers, has just uh, admitted, and I, mean, I knew for quite a while, that it is actually self-diagnosed. Uh, originally self-diagnosed as Burgess and then changed to, you know, because autism became more... It, it was like you were told you weren't allowed to, you know, say Asperger's or Asby anymore. So this is what these communities do. They, they sort of language place, tell you what you can say and what you can't. Anyway, um, first, one of the first videos claims and actually states in the first few sentences, I was diagnosed Asperger's. So now I made a very uh, a vague video which implies in the title that um, it did get assessed but when you actually watch the video it didn't get assessed, it doesn't want to get assessed because it um, doesn't want identity taken away if uh, the, the clinician, from, so the clinician is from the outside. So. Um, there is subjective, subjectivity both with assessing yourself as well as someone else assessing you but if all you've got is your own validation and the validation from a self-diagnosed community 
when it's so far removed from what the original medical diagnosis is, I mean, call it frickin' something else. I mean, I think that's where the word neurodiversion, you know, comes in. You know, it's very vague, but I was actually a bit annoyed that a psychiatrist actually suggested I use that word for myself. Um, I feel it's a politicalised term. I don't like it. Um, so, uh, and also the bullies, the mob bullies, you like to use that terminology. So that's why I'm very resistant to using it. Um, and also it's vague, it doesn't really mean jack shit really, it just means your brain's a bit different from other people's brains, I mean, pfft. anyway, um, okay, so this one here, the one, the big platform, big enough to make quite a lot of money on YouTube, I, from what I gather, uh, has now recently admitted it's never been assessed, it has admitted that previously, because when I checked it out, did it again with the vagueness, and then, but what interested me was, a whole lot of followers jumped on and said, oh, that's fine, I feel the same way. Um, but only a few of us said, hey, hang on a minute. This person is presenting themselves as an expert on autism, but they haven't even got it checked out themselves, really, objectively. Um, and also what they're presenting is just vague shit that you could call neurodivergence. Um, you know, it's just like, oh, I feel a bit different and I wanted a community to be, feel validated was basically his message. I mean, sure, everyone, it's a human thing. And most people do want to have some sort of connection and understanding from others. It's a human need. Um, when it becomes extreme, it can actually go into diagnostic ter territory. You know, if, um, you know, it might be criteria for some diagnosis or another. Um, now, um... But some people are claiming to be diagnosed, there's another one with a huge account that is claiming, um, giving really misleading advice. Um, meltdowns is one of the, um, the big ones, right? Um, this person is claiming that meltdowns is exactly the same as the shutdown and is, was actually claiming to have one while chattering on camera just like I am now. How do people get away with this shit, really? I mean, honestly. Now, clinically, uh, meltdowns isn't actually a clinical term. I found this out because what I do is I find out this information when I'm dealing with clinicians myself. Um, it, the closest would actually be emotional dysregulation. But it's such a it's been such a butcher term now that it can mean now someone just chattering on the video. Really? Um, the person that was saying this, and she said she wants to teach people, big profile and all, uh, she looked a bit tired, which is understandable because she's a mother and all that. She described mild dissociation, which is understandable if you get really tired. Most be a lot of people can dissociate mildly when they're very tired. And, um, and then needing some space to withdraw or whatever, and so calling that the shutdown, but the melt, saying she was melting down by just chatting on video, whatever, what a load of shit. Um, there was another one I remember, it was a, I'll just call her a drama queen. Um, she recorded herself, supposedly in hospital, having a meltdown, and she was busy threatening them with suing them and shit. Now, I do think that some of these people probably would meet criteria for something. Um, some of them claim they're misdiagnosed bipolar, or I'm diagnosed bipolar myself. Um, some of them are probably cluster Bs, including the borderline personality disorder, but because that's quite stigmatised, uh, also called BPD, uh, also called uh, emotionally unstable personality disorder. The names personality disorders are quite stigmatizing because it makes people feel very offended, like what's wrong with my personality kind of thing. Uh, I, bipolar is like called a mood disorder, you see. But anyway, uh, the uh, some of the people probably meet criteria for that. Some people uh, kind of probably meet criteria for some sort of trauma disorders. There's actually quite a lot of them. 
uh, I'm diagnosed with PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder. Um, I used to call myself an SB, Asperger's, um, quite a few years ago. From my son was formally diagnosed in 2010, and and then I was formally diagnosed uh, bipolar in 2015. So for five years, I actually called myself an SB, Asperger's. Um, the funny thing is, is that one of the reasons people got really mad at me on social media is because I stopped calling myself one. And um, when they found out I used to, they got extra mad at me. So it's kind of like the apostate, you know. Um, and that's why this mob went for my box. It's actually the main reason is they're mad at me. Because um, I found out that I actually didn't edit that out on a book that I wrote, a memoir. Um, because I felt like to edit that out would be lying, even though I know that a lot of people, um, they want to call themselves an alti, but then some people say, oh, that's not allowed to be used now. So it's all this control. I hate the control. It's freaking ridiculous. So uh, anyway, um, one of those people complaining that I was stealing their joy over commenting on their videos, but they put out publicly for anyone to comment on. I mean, if they don't want me to comment, just block me. I mean... I'll try not to comment because I think I'll just ignore this person. I know definitely it was me they're talking about because I was one of the only people who commented, right? Um, anyway, some of these people say who they were diagnosed by. So anyway, I go and look up these organisations because they're out of curiosity. Now, one of these organisations, um, they do, they, they must make big business out of it because they judge more than a freaking psychiatrist to do an assessment, some of these outfits, but one of them, because I was thinking, oh yeah, she says medical doctor, or she says doctor, um, not medical. So I look out to see what sort of doctor. They're naturopaths, they're naturopaths. I had to think, oh my goodness, a doctor and naturopathy. Okay, so I'm afraid that I can't take that seriously. I mean, if you're into naturopathy, you say your thing, whatever, but personally, um, I, I don't take that seriously um, and and then the rest of the people were sort of I don't know they didn't they weren't clinical psychologists about any of the ones on the list website looked pretty uh, sus it was very amateurish um, and they said they do internationally but they did put a disclaimer in there that it won't be official if it's in out of certain countries and then another one I actually emailed them because I was curious. Um, they said they will assist people in New Zealand. Um, they charge, um, they will only um, diagnose, but they, they try to avoid clinical language. So they want to call it discover or affirm autism, but it's neurodiversity affirmative. So you basically, if you decide you are yourself, they'll just affirm it. I said, do you look at anyone's medical records? And they said, no, we don't. I said, uh, so basically you're going along with just whatever someone decides they are, you're just affirming it and charging the money for it, basically. I said, because why does it charge that much? And they didn't ask me that question. But I said, do you assess in New Zealand? They said, yes, we do. So anyway, I asked my psychologist about this, and she said, um, the, uh, the clinical psychologist is a protected title in New Zealand. I believe it is so in Australia as well and um, she's not even allowed to assess people from overseas it has to be within their country um, so people are getting sucked in paying shitloads of money to get something that's useless um, to be affirmed because they're so desperate for validation I feel like I'm making more eye contact today eye contact, camera contact I don't know, it's probably because I'm a bit pissed off um, like, I find it quite hard to look at the camera normally. Uh, I feel like I'm looking a bit more today. So anyway, my mood must be a bit off. Anyway, uh, where am I going? Anyway, I, I made it. I made a complaint to a psychologist board and they told me about two other addresses to make a complaint to. It's no, um, bearing on myself, but it's more like if other people are sucked into this, you need to know that they're, they're paying for something that's basically, I think, a scam. Um, and 
it's just because they're so desperate to have identity. These are people that, that struggle with having a sense of self and identity that uh, can go with some diagnoses other than autism. Um, so where have I got here? Um, there was one advocate with a large platform, um, not YouTube but elsewhere, that uh, I had a minor disagreement with. And he's got a uh, tendency to do this, he's done it many times, is actually point the way so everyone, the people that are doing disagreement get mobbed. So what happened to me, that's why, um, that's why I was, uh, um, in quite a bad sh shape for a while and um, there's been a lot to process. Um, now this person claims to have my son's diagnosis and but if you look at history he admits that there's no childhood history and there was no adult history until um, you know he's claiming to be a late onset Autism, Asperger's autism. Anyway, I decided to read the book, right? Paid for the freaking thing. Just nothing about autism. It's the university version. So anyway, I didn't stoop to quite the level of what his followers did to me, which was leave me one star reviews of the pile of shit. Didn't read, read the freaking thing, really. Or well, they already decided they were going to do it. They already announced they were going to do it. And they were um, shredding me. And it was all because of the identity politics. No, I uh, I left a critical review, but I didn't step quite that low. I I, uh, I left a very honest review rather than, um, you know, the ones that they did. But, um, heck, wait for the fallout, sure enough. He tried to get um, them to mob me again without naming me. So we do this funny thing where we don't name each other back and forth. And he tried to say I was harassing him and by commenting, because I made a comment, because I, I made it clear to him that uh, he was actually the one that kicked off with this shit for uh, Jerry to have a disagreement of a different opinion, basically, about something. And Anyway, uh, he, 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 what he does is he uses victim mode. He goes into the, oh, well, it was me, and now she's picking on me, and now she's stalking me, and she's harassing me. And I mean, he put something out in the public domain. Anyone can see it, and it clues me. So um, if you're going to, you know, play those stupid gas games. Anyway, so we anyway, everyone goes, oh, who is it? We want to know. Who's, we'll, we'll go after her kind of thing. This is what happens with some of these people with the large platforms is they use it to bully and they have that false power um, to get their follower. He does get his followers to do the dirty work. Bullshit. Anyway, he must have had a think about it because so the next day I'm just going to snap my nice PPM. I've got this many bottles of PPM. Um, but the next day I deleted. pisses me off. I reckon they're frauds a lot of them. Now, I would say he probably has some mild traits, but so something else going on, you know, anxiety, whatever. But what they do is they all latch onto autism and a few of them have managed to convince, or so they say, managed to convince a clinician. And, um, and then what they do is they use it as a position of authority. But a few of them, it turns out, they're saying they're diagnosed when they're not. So the one that's now admitted, oh, actually, I have an assist. Oh, no, that's why we all feel the same way. And thousands of views, um, lots of positive comments, and only a few of us are saying, hang on a minute, this is a problem because you're using autism in your name and you're posing yourself as an expert with a lived experience and you're not even 100%, well... It has a conviction, like a religious conviction, but you're not even um, actually admitted that he doesn't meet, well, he doesn't even think he meets the clinical criteria. Um, and 
I identified as an Aspie for a while because I did share a lot of traits with Assam. When I, but when I do look at the criteria myself, if the, if the psychiatrist who assessed me again recently had said I was, I would have asked him why. Yeah, like I know I have personality traits. It runs in my family, right? But whether it's over, diagnosis should only be if you're over a threshold that you have significant impairment in the area. And if I was to look at the categories, I would say yes, I do have some tendencies, but it's there is subjectivity about it. And the first assessment, they said yes, I do have features, but I'm below the threshold of autism spectrum disorder. And then the older one was Asperger's, and then there was autism dis um, disorder, and there was PDD, you know, it's New Zealand uses both the DSM-4 and 5, by the way. Apparently, I come under the PDD, you know, which is also called atypical autism. 